Hi everyone, it's Katie here to walk you through the process of adding staff users to your Moodle site. You will have the option of adding users when you first request your site, but this option is for those of you who would like to add users after your site has been created. Be aware though that this form is temporary and will eventually be updated, but we'll make a new video when that happens. The basic principles for adding users will remain the same. The first thing you will need to do is log in to the university intranet and then scroll down to manage my Moodle. This will open a pop-up screen of options for managing your Moodle site. You'll need to select Add a staff user to a site. The first step is to indicate which site you would like to add the user to. Select the year of the site and your faculty which is organized by the new faculty structure. Then enter the ETS code, that's the eTeaching Systems code, for your site. You can just enter the first few numbers if you don't remember the whole thing. Select your site from the list and click Next. If you are not listed as the site coordinator, which is the main contact for the site, you will not be able to make changes to it. This might just mean that you have entered the wrong code. If you encounter this error, please contact the eTeaching Systems team using the Help Request Support form. Now, identify which user you would like to add to the site. The Role category here is used to identify the user's role within the subject, and this category does not determine their level of access. Then, fill in whether they are academic or general staff and add their username. Once you click Display, you will get the option to set their access level. You can choose different access levels for users with the same UOW role, particularly if you have a large teaching team. There is a detailed explanation of these roles in another video, so check out our YouTube channel. You'll then need to add information in each of these fields, so select their faculty, campus, authorship level, and competency. Then, click Add User. You can add additional users using the same process and also edit or delete the nominated users. Once you have added everyone, click Next. Review your choices here. If you would like to make changes to the information, you can click on ETS Code to change the subject site information or Users to be added to edit or delete this information. When you're all set, click Submit. Now you're all set. You'll receive an email notifying you that your request has been lodged and another email once the users have been added to the site. You can repeat this process at any time to add additional users during the semester. As always, you can contact us for help by email or phone with the details you see on your screen. Thank you for watching.